Hi, my name's Frank Blankenship and I'm a psychiatric survivor. I come today with my trash can bearing the label, if you can see that, anti-psychiatry. The American Psychiatric Association is an exclusive club made up of people who have been educated and trained in psychiatry in, in America, the USA. It's an exclusive club. People without psychiatric degrees can't become a member. Now this club has been responsible for a lot of labeling and a lot of drugging in the USA because the predominant line of thought for the APA is what we call medical model psychiatry. Uh, there are better approaches, so let's just take the APA and put them over here in our trash can. The APA, some of us call, would call a gang of thugs because the APA has ties to the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, we will break up this gang of thugs and add them to the trash can anti-psychiatry. <laughs> the pharmaceutical industry these members of the APA have ties to include Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Roche, GlaxoSmithKline, Novartis, Sanofi, AstraZeneca, Abbott Laboratories, Merck and Company, Bayer Healthcare, Eli Lilly, Bristol Myers Squibb. These are some of the companies, uh, some of the biggest of the pharmaceutical industry companies. And we're going to break up these companies right now because they, they've contributed a great deal to a lot of harm that has come to people in the mental health field. And we'll add them to our trash can labeled anti-psychiatry. Now we get to the subject of the DSM. It's short for Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. This is a book that is published and, and revised and written by members of the APA. The, this is a, it's a label catalog. This is where doctors go to get the, to determine what disease a person has and to attach a label to them. We're going to take the DSM and we're going to put it in our trash can. The DSM, as I was saying before, and if you can see, is a shrink's label bible. This label bible we will dispense with and add to our other things in the, uh, in the trash can. Here is are a number of the labels that I, as a psychiatric survivor, have personally had attached to me. The first is major depressive disorder. It is 296.3x in the DSM-4. I, I don't care much for this label, so I'm just going to take it. I'm going to rip it up. Uh, it's not the only label I've had applied to me. There's also this. Schizotypal Personality Disorder, or 301.22 in the DSM-4. Um, let us take this disorder, tear it up. A Paranoid Schizophrenic. See that? Paranoid Schizophrenic. Paranoid Schizophrenic is number 295.30 in the DSM-4. Uh, scare spooky disorder. We could get rid of dispense with that pretty easily. Another insult they've thrown my way is undifferentiated schizophrenia. Number 295.90 in the DSM-4. Uh, 
I don't care much for this label either, so I think I'll just fit with it and put it in our trash can. Finally, I've been saddled with the uh, Schizoaffective Disorder label, number 295.70 in the DSM-4. You can see that. Schizoaffective Disorder. This is a grab-all somewhere between schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. We'll, we'll take it. We'll add it to the others. I don't like it. I don't. What am I going to do with this? Jesus. All of these disorders are negative. They're things you don't need, you know. That's, you know, you keep it. I don't want it. <laughs> Next, but not la least, we come to chronic. The, the concept of chronicity that comes with some of these more serious disorders as they are seen especially disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and so forth, and major, as well as major depressive disorder. Now the thing about chronicity, chronic, is it means lifelong or long term. And who wants to be saddled with one of these negative labels hanging around your neck like an albatross as long as you live? I don't need it. If you need it, you can have it. But I don't think anybody really needs it, so we'll just take it, we'll tear it off, and we'll put it in our trash can over here. Anti-psychiatry. Finally, we come up with the label that I've given to myself, and the number, numero uno, a right fine fellow. Well, I think that one's okay. I think I'll keep it. Nothing wrong with this. I don't want to get dispensed with it, so I'll hang on to it for a while. Thank you.